My question is, how shall Muslim women react or what shall they do when they find out their spouses are not sincere with them and mistreat their wives? This has become a very common issue today and would like to know what Muslim women should do in order to save their marriage. Is getting divorced the only solution when such issues arise? No, I think, I think getting divorced is the final solution. I think if there are issues between the husband and the wife, always the people of wisdom should be brought into the issue. If we're talking, it's reached a very difficult stage. At the beginning, now you talk between yourself. You talk between yourself, you change the environment you're in, maybe go on a holiday together, spend time together. Many brothers and sisters do not realize that when they get married and there's kids right at the beginning of that marriage, there's extreme difficulties physically and emotionally for especially the mother in the relationship. And also there's now different responsibilities that have come about and now there is less time and things are not as rosy as that engagement period was. Therefore, in this situation, a person shouldn't just say, well, you know, I'm getting frustrated with life. That's it. I want to get rid of this. But rather, maybe change environment. Maybe go to pastures new. Maybe change scenery. And then one could go to the people of wisdom. Sit with them. You know, subhanAllah, sometimes, however much we think we know, when we speak to those who have wisdom, be they younger than us or be they older than us, they open for us an angle none of us can imagine. Especially those who have traveled the earth and have seen many different situations and many different stories. Therefore, if you find, for example, that your husband, let's say, has been insincere, don't hide it for a long time. Sit with them. Bring up the issue. Talk with each other in a respectful manner. And let the person know your feelings and hear what their feelings are. I'm not going to make an excuse for them, but hear what they've got to say. Maybe on your side, maybe on your side there are things which you didn't notice. Remember, a believer is a mirror to their fellow believer. And the two have to be mirrors to one another. The husband may not realize that his behavior, what it's doing to you. And you may not realize that sometimes some of the decisions that you're making may also be bringing a certain disturbance to the relationship. But don't straight away decide that we're just going to end this and also at the same time be careful whose advice that you take so if you're if you're going to take the advice of someone who's not necessarily seen as a person of wisdom or someone who themselves may have a certain jealous streak they want to see you break up because they're jealous of you but they'll say you know what it's better that you break up because they hate the world they want you to also hate the world too be careful don't just listen to anyone out there. There are people of wisdom who you can sit with. And also, if now after the people of wisdom haven't done or haven't reached a solution, maybe a period of separation is healthy. Mm. Why straight away we should sign papers of divorce? There are times when papers of divorce are needed. Let's be clear. There are certain disgusting acts that can occur mm. where there should be a breakup. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not said there's no divorce in Islam. The worst of the halals, but it's allowed. But sometimes a period of separation makes the absence, makes the heart grow fonder. These are all things that should be taken on board because there are many who may have got divorced who regret their divorces. Mm. And I think it's vital for us that maybe periods of separations where you see whether there's still something there. Imam Amir al-Mumnin even has traditions where he tells the men of the community that make a hundred excuses for your wife. Now you look at traditions like that and you're wondering why is he saying something like that? But then there are traditions which also say things like, for example, things along the lines of uh, uh, a husband has the right to choose his wife's friends. You see, some of our sisters, for example, they say that we want to make sure that we quote all the traditions that suit us. Mm. But then if there's a tradition that suits the brothers, like, no, no, I don't want to hear that tradition. Ahlul Bayt, alayhi have made it clear marriage is really a struggle. When you hear people like the Imam saying the jihad of the wife, not the battlefield, mm -hmm. It's having good manners with the husband. 
It's a struggle. Because when you're showing the best of manners, you're saying you're seeing nothing reciprocated. It's a struggle. And there is no great personality but that they had tests in their marriage. Imam al Hassan never had a test in his marriage. Imam al Jawad did not have a test in his marriage. Nabi Ibrahim did not have a test in his marriage. Nabi Nuh did not have a test in his marriage. Many will have tests in their marriage. And we'll have this discussion coming soon Inshallah. about marriage and divorce in Islam and so on. But please, my dear brothers and sisters, the people of wisdom do not neglect them. Sometimes a word with a wise member of the community can go a long way. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Sir.